I am Haley Albrechtson, Phase 4 Engineering Project Manager. In this video, I will be demonstrating how easy it is to integrate a standard industry analog output sensor with the LEAP wireless transceiver node. A huge variety of industrial sensors have a 0 to 10 volt or 4 to 20 milliamp output. Sensor types include pressure, fluid level, flow, temperature, electrical current, proximity, tilt, and many others. The LEAP transceiver node make it simple to convert these standard industrial sensors to a wireless sensor. The unique thing about this LEAP transceiver node is that it powers the analog sensor from the LEAP's internal battery. Other wireless transceiver nodes that integrate the analog sensor require that external power be provided to the sensor. The LEAP transceiver node has a large, powerful, long-life battery that can power the external sensor either 12 volts or 24 volts, making the entire sensing node completely wireless and fast and easy to install. To maximize battery life, the external sensor is only powered on right before a reading is taken. Once the sensor has been powered on and the reading taken, the LEAP transceiver node turns off the power to maximize the battery life. In most use cases, batteries can last three to five years, even when powering the standard industrial sensor. Another unique feature of this transceiver node is the ability to support multiple external sensors, even different types of sensors. This transceiver node can support 4 to 20 input with another three 0 to 10 volt input sensors. To connect the external analog output sensor to the LEAP transceiver node, there are two options. We can pre-configure the node with this nice IP67 M8 connector. If you want to cut the cable to a custom length, we can install a cable gland instead of the M8 connector. The wires to the external sensor can be connected to the LEAP electronics via this standard spring-loaded terminal block. The user manual explains the pinout of the wires to the terminal blocks. Now, let's do a demonstration to show how easy the system is to use. Transceiver nodes like this one will transmit data periodically to a gateway that is in the area. The gateway will then pass the data to the LEAP sensor manager software that can be accessed on any device with a web browser a PC, smartphone, or tablet. I am using Chrome to connect the Leap software that, in this case, is installed on the gateway. I've already logged in, and you can see the pressure data coming in. With the software, you can graph the data. You can also do many things, including setting text, email, and telephone alerts, set the sample interval and transmit interval, and downloading all the data. There are also several data interfaces, such as Modbus, that allow you to pass the data to the software. For this demonstration, I'm using a pneumatic tester to apply pressure to our sensor. You can view a graph of this data on the Leap Sensor Manager software. Let me show you the configuration screen that converts analog signal to the proper sensor range and unit of measure. I'm going to click on the device, then go up to the Configure Devices, Edit Configuration, here you can set the transmit and sample interval. Below, you have the sensor options. We have a 0 to 10 volt sensor. The 0 volt value is 0 from the data sheet. The 10 volt value is 100, again from the data sheet. You can set the sensor units. Uh, in this case, the sensor label is the WICA A10 pressure sensor. If you need to uh, include any Field calibration values, we have a slope and offset field for you. In most cases, phase four will preset and calibrate the external sensor before the device node arrives. Don't forget to save your configuration. Click OK to apply that configuration, and now your device has been updated. The LEAP Industrial Analog Input Sensor converts a wide variety of standard wireless sensors to a wireless device in a matter of minutes. This facilitates quickly adding more sensors for remote monitoring, predictive maintenance, or improved process control for a small fraction of the price of adding a new wired sensor. We understand that wireless sensing is probably new to you. Please contact us and we'll connect you with one of our experts to give you a great first experience in industrial wireless sensing.